uh, talk about an issue that I know is close to the hearts of many people listening to this. It's the notion of um, what sort of selfish parkers parking at the end of your drive, for example, and blocking you in when you want to get out. Uh, on one street in Bishop Stortford, it's got so bad, uh, one man, uh, Stuart Barber, indeed, we're going to speak to him in a second, stuck his own parking ticket for £385 on a car that was blocking in his work van because it was keeping him from doing his work. We can speak to him now. Hi, Stuart. Hello, how are you doing? Presumably, Stuart, you were pushed to this. It's happened a few times, has it? Uh, yes, we have quite a serious problem with the parking in the the six small streets. That's our residence association. We're the only um, the only streets in the town really that, that aren't um, resident parking zones. So we we have no control over who parks and who doesn't. Um, yeah, a number of times the you know they park so close to you that you can't get out. So what did they um, it, literally? It wasn't a ticket. It was actually an invoice I gave them for my wasted time for the day. Right. Um, so so I they can't give a ticket. Can they see your vehicle when they're parking? Um, it's a long wheelbase, high top, white Sprinter. If they can't see it, they shouldn't be driving. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> you know? look. So you put this invoice on the windscreen. What happened next? Well, I, I, the first thing I did was I, I phoned Hertfordshire Police, um, which I have done previously, and sort of said, look, you know, this, they give them the vehicle number, they contact DVLA that can give them a phone number. They have on occasions phoned people up that have done this, said, look, can you move your vehicle? And they phoned me back and sort of said, you know, um, we've spoke to the driver of the vehicle, you know, they're going to come and move it. Fine. Mm -hmm. On this occasion, they tried to contact the owner, they phone me back, given their credit. They did phone me back and say they can't uh, can't locate the owner. Obviously, they've not got a number. And, um, you know, that's it, really. So, you know, I've unloaded what I needed out the van and put it in my car and, and gone to work. And the, the next minute... Um, after after I posted the uh, the invoice on, on the windscreen. The next minute, I get a phone call from Hertfordshire Police, um, basically saying, you know, um, Mr Barber, we can't find this car blocking your drive. I said, well, it's not actually blocking my drive. It's the other side of the road, and it's blocking my van in. And she basically accused me, the police officer, of parking because I parked up close to the car behind, because that had space to get out to the front, um, I left enough space at the front of my van that if somebody parks sensibly, we all can get out and we can all park. And, you know, I'm, I suppose I'm fairly considerate like that. Uh, but she accused me of making it worse because I parked too close to the car behind. Um, despite, right. And she didn't agree that the car in front was actually blocking me in. Wow, what a so, handling, as, as we say, where I'm from. But, um, Stuart, do you ever just get tempted to park in the street up across your own drive? Um, I do. I'm parked there at the moment, actually, because there there's go. nowhere else to park. Well, that's uh, it, isn't it? I know, mean, it's not what you want, but it may be the only solution, ultimately. Well, no, not really, because I have on occasions, um, not so long ago, um, I've got up on a Friday morning to find that there is a car parked across the end of my drive. Oh. Um, and I've waited four days until they've come back from their holiday at Stansted, oh. you know, flown out of Stansted Airport. The, these are the things so, that can that can quite quickly escalate as well, aren't they? Uh, the, they are. Um, the problem we have is the fact that we have the local solicitor's office are telling their clients to park down the road. The local taxi company parks their taxis here and you quite often see the taxi driver pull up put the plates on the car that's parked exchange the car parking spaces and drive off for a day's work in their taxi we, 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 we have commuters we have the people at the airport we just have everybody wanting to descend on our our little corner of town Stuart, um, we've we've had this before yeah. on the program bollards is a good solution people put people put uh, traffic cones out with little bits of wood across them you're as not, you're, you're not allowed to we've oh. been told by hertfordshire police oh that because lots of the residents will put their bin out um, yes. We have been told by Hertfordshire Police if we do that and somebody hits the bin and damages their car, the police will prosecute because you're well, not allowed to obstruct the highway, which is cool. Yeah, we, we understand that. Well, Stuart, look, we've run out of time. We can't. We, we, we won't solve this problem if we talk to you from now until seven. I don't think. Um, it's, <laughs> uh, I, every, patience is your frustration. That's yeah. All.
Yeah. The, 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 the worst thing is we, the, and, and the really worst thing is we have lots of lots of young families with children and shopping with nowhere to park. We have elderly residents okay. that don't get any visitors because their friends won't come and visit because they have to park so far away that they feel isolated. Yeah, we and, we, we, you know, we, 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 we we feel your pain, Stuart. Thank you. It, 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 the, the, parking across someone's drive is one thing. Selfishly. Um, 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 doing that is one thing, but if you just park it on the road and people are arguing about how close you are to the I don't road, have to wait for difficult. somebody to come back from their holiday. Yeah, the, oh, not oh, good. Be oh, especially the if they didn't bring anything back. Uh, <laughs> no sweet. That would just rub salt into the wounds, wouldn't it? Uh, right, 5.35.